Hello everyone, in this video let us uh, install adaptive theme in our Drupal website. So far we have been uh, working on this uh, Drupal site. We are trying to learn how we can uh, use the Drupal to build a blog and uh, we have done uh, quite a lot so far. We have been able to build this site for uh, uh, for basically managing a blog, uh, we have added a new content type, we have learned how to make uh, an, a new view. And uh, in this video, I just want to quickly install a theme because our site uh, looks quite okay so far, but uh, it is not really great looking and it is still using the default uh, theme. So let us uh, work on uh, the website and uh, when you are logged into your uh, Drupal, you can go to the appearance on top and uh, you will be able to take a look at uh, the themes that you have right now installed in your uh, Drupal uh, website. So right now when you install a new fresh Drupal, you will have uh, this Bartik theme which is the default theme and there is also one more theme called Seven which is basically a theme for administration. But we want to install our new theme and uh, we can do that by of course uh, going to drupal.org. So let me uh, open drupal.org and uh, let us find a theme that we can uh, potentially use. So while you're on the website, while you're on drupal.org, you can go to the build menu on top and then if you go to themes, you will be able to take a look at all the themes uh, that uh, are there that you can probably uh, use. So the moment you open this particular uh, uh, particular section called themes, this section will show you the list of themes that are uh, sorted or you can say the most mostly installed themes. So on top you have bootstrap, then you have uh, a theme called add minimal uh, responsive administration theme, then you have Zen. Then you, also, then you also have Omega, which is a really a nice theme. Then there is also a theme called Adaptive Theme. So let us open this theme. And uh, personally, I like this theme uh, because uh, it has a lot of uh, configurations when it comes to changing some things on uh, the on the theme. Basically, basically, if you if you have to change, let us say some colors, or you have to do some tweaking, you can do it. Uh, from the interface. So let us install this theme very quickly and for installing this theme uh, you need to first copy this uh, URL of uh, this uh, tar.gz uh, compressed file. If you copy the link, uh, if you go to your uh, Drupal website, click on this button uh, while you are inside your uh, appearance section. So when you click on this button called uh, install a new theme, you can simply paste the URL of uh, the theme that you copied and uh, install it. So it will basically install the theme for you and then we can further do some uh, configurations. So the theme is installed. Uh, let us go back to the... Uh, or let, I think the theme is now installed but we need to enable it I believe. So if you go back to the same appearance tab, you should see a new theme listed here. Let me just do a refresh very quickly. Okay, I, I don't see this theme, so let me install it again. So I hope it is uh, installed now. So for some reason we don't really see the theme but uh, let me uh, click on the let me let me just quickly uh, I'll try to clear the cache maybe that is the reason so if you go to the configuration and if you go to the performance and if you clear clear the cache let us see if that helps it's a bit weird but uh, let us see we never know so it is taking a while okay let us go back to the appearance 
again so we don't really see the theme and uh, Okay, let us go to settings. No, I think there is some problem with this. So let me try to troubleshoot. So if you go to the reports and if you click on the status report, hopefully it will tell us something what is happening uh, here. So let us see if we can. Uh, so instead of sta status report, I need to check the recent log messages basically. So let us wait for it. Okay. So we can see here that uh, hmm. Okay, let us uh, try to install a different theme maybe. So if I go back to my theme section, I'll probably try to install add minimal theme, which is also quite popular. So if I try to install this theme, let us see what happens. So I'll go to appearance, I'll uh, copy this URL again. Okay. So add a minimal theme is not installed. I'm not sure about the problem with the, with the uh, theme that we were installing earlier, but let us see if uh, we are able to configure it. Uh, the whole idea in this video is, is that I wanted to show you how to install a theme and how to configure it. So let us install it and uh, set it as default. So we can also uh, do some configurations. So right now the theme is installed. You can see here that the theme is the default theme. And if you quickly go back to your site, the appearance should be different. So the site looks uh, quite different if you compare it uh, uh, with what you had earlier. It looks uh, a bit sleek. Well, of course, we are, we are missing, we have some information missing, like we don't really have the sidebar. We had few things here. But if you go back to the appearance, and uh, or maybe if you go to structure very quickly and if you click on block layout you can you know, there is an option called uh, demonstrate block region for this particular theme uh, which is called add minimal so you can see here that uh, this theme is quite straightforward uh, you don't really have uh, any sidebar which is fine but if you exit this and if you probably go back to the appearance and let us see if we can do some uh, configurations with this uh, particular uh, theme. So in this particular theme, we have uh, um, not many options, but there is one option called use add minimal hyphen custom dot CSS. If I click on this and if I do a save, let us see if there is any change. So this it's fine, but I am looking for more configuration so I can probably play with the uh, with the configurations of a theme. Let me try to install maybe a different theme. So instead of using, I don't really want to install Bootstrap, which is the most uh, popular theme because it requires some work. You need to basically create a sub theme and I use Bootstrap on my production websites. Uh, but for this uh, demonstration, I just want to show you something very simple. Uh, we do have this Zen theme, which is uh, probably fine, but uh, uh, let us install this. I think uh, because I'm not sure if we need to create a sub theme or not, but if I ideally you should also read the documentation, but let us install this and let us see how it works. So if you go to the 8.x version, if you copy the uh, tar.gz URL, let us go back to the appearance and uh, let us click on the install new theme and paste it, install it. Let us see how it looks like. Uh, it, is always, it is always a good idea to you know, read the uh, documentation of uh, the uh, 
of the uh, basically theme so right now we have uh, this theme which is installed and uh, the theme is asking us to so there is a theme which is fine uh, but there is also a sub theme so usually you have to create a sub theme or you can use this uh, this sub theme uh, directly but it is it is asking us to install some components some additional modules maybe but for the time being if you just quickly install uh, the main zen theme and if you go if you want to take a look how it looks like you can go back to the website and now the website is giving us an error which is fine uh, but uh, we might need to disable it so if i do a refresh of my appearance section and uh, we do have this theme so let us switch back to the default theme and let us try something different so instead of zen so far we have installed three themes and none of them are working great which is fine uh, so we can go to the corporate clean theme it looks good let us let us try to install this because i believe this will this will be uh, much simpler and i hope there is no uh, there is no need to create a sub theme there is also this this live demo uh, if you click on the live demo i believe they have some information about how this theme will look like so it looks good i think i'll install this let us install this theme and uh, oh unfortunately this theme is not available for drupal 8 so if i probably sort this by drupal 8 so you can switch to drupal 8 or basically filter this particular page to only show you themes that are applicable for drupal 8 uh, so this is fine uh, i'm just trying to understand if i can install a theme without much effort so it's so there is a theme called uh, drupal 8 xy Zymphony's theme let us see how it looks like we might install it yeah this looks good so uh let us i think i'll install the nexus theme i'm aware of this theme but uh, I haven't really used it in a while so there's a live demo let us see how it looks like i think it's a bit more i think i'll probably use this one we can have like a big image and uh, we can have some sections on top like some highlights and then we can have the uh, recent blogs so let us install this i hope it works this is this would be a final theme that we are trying to use so if you go back to the install new theme and if you copy the url of this nexus theme install it will i think it's a good idea to uninstall the other themes so that uh, our site is not very heavy so install newly added themes if you click on this you will be taken to this uh, page and now we have the option to install and set as default so if you click on this link we have a new theme uh, which is hopefully working so if i go back to my main home page this looks actually good i like it i think this looks uh, quite neat we have this uh, big image on top and ho i hope you c yeah i hope uh, we can change it there is a configuration to do it we have these uh, these recent blocks i like the color it's a bit uh, it gives me a very mid um or I, I should say probably like you know sites that used to be there around 10 years ago uh which is fine i mean uh, it's a simple website it's the the objective is to create a blog so if we go back to the appearance let us see if we can configure it further so if we go to settings and uh, under settings you have definitely few things that we can configure so we have the option to use an image for the slides which is good and i believe that is it the only thing that you can do is change the logo change the favicon change these uh, slides 
which is fine. I don't mind uh, a simple configuration. Uh, let us go back to the home page and uh, let us end this video. We'll probably continue using this theme uh, for the rest of the video series or this particular series on block building. I'll probably create series of videos back to back and I'll probably finish this series and we'll of course ha end up with the uh, with the uh, basically a site where we'll have a blog. I initially intended to create a site similar to the one that I have, ravisaga.in. And this is actually built on a bootstrap. But for this example, since I want to keep it very simple, I want to keep it simple because I want anyone to be able to create a Drupal website and uh, we'll be basically using this uh, this new theme that we discovered today. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you very much.